I'm Catherine from Becoming You and today I'm going to talk about a very essential item that every home needs to have, especially if you have young children at home. It's how to create a first aid kit. Right, firstly, you need to have some adhesive bandages, so things like gauze and some sterilized dressings, some swabs. If it's a little bit of a bigger wound, you would probably need to have some sort of bandage to wrap around. And then in that case, you will need um, some adhesive tape to secure the bandages or maybe some of these little things that secure bandages as well. So you have a variety of different sizes and shapes of bandages. You would need a pair of scissors to cut bandages, maybe a pair of tweezers as well that you can use to remove splinters and, and maybe pieces of glass or whatever that might be in the wound. You, if you're treating a wound that there has a lot of blood, you will need to have a pair of disposable latex gloves or non-latex gloves if you've got an allergy to latex. When you do buy a pre-packed um, first aid kit, it often comes with this type of thing, which is a little mouthpiece that you would use to perform CPR, so that you don't have to um, put your own mouth on the person's mouth. And then various little tubes of cream, maybe something for bruises like Arnica, something for slight burns and scrapes like 8-hour cream from Elizabeth Arden, antiseptic cream like Savlon or Bactroban, um, an antihistamine cream for stings and bites, and then a hand sanitizer. Some of the items that I think are also important to have in your kit are things like a torch and some batteries, especially for your car kit. Then it's also important to maybe have a thermometer or something like that um, to test for temperature. And then it's also important to potentially have uh, a list of emergency phone numbers because in the heat of the moment you don't always realize who you should be phoning where and so having a list of emergency phone numbers in your kit is quite an important thing. The little kits that I've got each came with a first aid booklet but if you don't have one maybe get one and that just gives you basic suggestions on how to deal with each and every event. So there you have it, everything that you need to create a first aid kit for your family to keep them safe in the possibility of an accident. I hope that it's inspired you to get organized and thanks so much for watching.